New Zealand present an interesting prospect at this T20 World Cup. Laura, what do we make of their squad selection and how far do you think that they can go? Uh, they've certainly got some world-class players in their, in their squad. Um, you know, the likes of Susie Bates and Sophie Devine have been key performers for them for a number of years. And um, I think sometimes they are heavily reliant on, on those two players and um, that obviously adds, adds pressure and responsibility to them. Um, but you know, Sophie Devine has had a fantastic period of, um, of form um, in the Women's Big Bash. She's, she performed brilliantly, so they'll be hoping she can carry that form through into the, the World Cup. There are some younger players within that squad that will be looking to make an impact. I mean, one in Amelia Kerr has already made a major impact on, on the global cricket scene with that extraordinary double hundred uh, about 18 months ago. What does she bring to the team and do you expect her to step up in this tournament? Um, for somebody so young, she's very composed and also she's very um, consistent in her skill execution as well. She's got, got quite a, a few different variations and um, she's, she's a real sort of wicket-taking threat for them. Rachel Priest back in behind the stumps presumably as well. So what, what does she bring to a squad? Yeah, so she, um, she's very experienced, um, maybe not been in the side so recently, but um, played in uh, the Super League last year um, and can be very destructive on her day. So, um, yeah, if, she, if they use her well and, and she performs, I think she could be very useful for them. Obviously, we, we talk a lot about uh, Susie Bates when you talk about New Zealand cricket, but, I mean, what sort of servant has she been for, for the game in general, not just for New Zealand? Yeah, she's been fantastic. She's sort of led from the front for a number of years, obviously captaining the side um, and now, now she's step, taken a step back. But hopefully that will really help her performances as well. Um, but yeah, she's been a fantastic role model for, for, for New Zealand cricket, but also uh, women's cricket as a, as a whole. And do you think New Zealand is starting now to have to think about life after her? Yeah, definitely. I think it's, um, there's sort of a number of experienced older players in there, but um, yeah, I think there's, there's potentially a bit of a gap there between those players and some of the youngsters coming through. And a prediction? How far do you think they will go? Um, I, th they, I think they could get it to the semis. Um, yeah, they're, they're kind of one of those teams which will be in the, in the fight to finish in the, t in the top two, I think.